Hey guys, this is a short video of how to get your head tracker pan tilt camera right there working with a Turnigy 9x transmitter and a FatShark Attitude SD FPV goggles with built in head tracker so it senses the motion. So, what I did, I uh, made a custom cable like this one. It has a PS2 connection on the one side which I think came from a super video cable and a standard headphone plug like this one. This one goes in the back of the Turnigy transmitter. It has a socket for this right there. And the other end, this one goes into the goggles. It has a connection for that right here. So let me do that. There you go. What I always need to do is power up the goggles first, the transmitter second, um, and in any case leave the cable unplugged after both of them are powered because else the servos act very slowly. Don't know actually what the cause of this is but this is what I saw and uh, so I always plug this cable in after I power both units. So to see what settings I made. Here's the menu for my Skywalker with the mixers and I added channels 9 and 10 right there using PPM 7 and 8 as their inputs with normal settings 100% output. So actually the Fatshark goggles are configured to use PPM 7 and 8 as their pan and tilt output channels which get translated into channels 9 and 10 on my transmitter. I use the range link system for long range. It actually has a built in head tracker port right here, you can read it, HT, but I didn't use it. So what I do is I just um, input the head tracker output in my transmitter, it gets translated into the PPM signal which goes directly to the transmitter. So let me show you how it works. I'll leave the transmitter off and I'll power on the goggles first. So those beeps are just an indication of the head tracker that it is initialized. Actually when you move your head too much to some extent you hear this beep it will reset the head tracker into center mode and you can always long press this channel selector button on the top to re-engage it so now it's outputting those signals again until you tilt your head too much like that so now the head the goggles are on I power up my transmitter and plug in the head tracker cable so this one is also ready. My range link is power, powered up. And it's now time to power on the plane. So that was the startup sequence. The plane is now powered, so are the servos. So if I now take my goggles, it's probably switched off. So I have to engage it by long pressing this channel selector button. It will beep. And you see now when I tilt my head or pan my head, the head tracker is moving. Works quite nice actually. So that's basically it. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, thumbs up. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.